Freaking. It's been like two hours and I finally figured out something they want to freaking bite. And believe it or not, it's just some little random uh, feather jig I made a couple weeks back. I've gotten like, I've caught one on it and I've had like three bites. Just got another bite right there. God, man. <clears throat> I'm going to show y'all what I'm working with. Just a little tiny tiny feather jig i made it's a 132 ounce i put the eyeballs on it dyed it chartreuse a little green thread and just a tiny piece of feather right there on the back but i've i've went through my little rotation of soft plastics and i mean they're interested in them but i could never get one to commit at least i'm getting bites on this thing so I guess the best part about this jig, you ain't got to worry about fixing it after you miss one. <laughs> A couple more to commit to it. Be good to go. I mean, this dock is just pretty much stacked with fish. There's not a lot of big ones, but I'm not really targeting big ones today anyway. I mean, I just want enough to eat. Ain't been out here in two weeks, so a little fresh stack of fish would be nice. I don't understand why I'm missing them. I mean, are they just nailing the tail? Ah, my hook's been a little bit. Didn't see that. There we go. See what happens now. I was saying, I ain't never been one to use a hand tie. That may be the deal. Oh, there we go. I'll say nothing gigantic down there. Good eater size. Let's measure him, see what he is. Yeah, that's a nine inch crappie. 
I'm not going to complain, especially when the bite's real tough. Like I, I thought it would get better, but obviously not. But I haven't had this little hand tie on for very long and I've already got two, so it's pretty good. We got the wind blowing right into this dock. Just missed another one. So the, the fish are pretty much right, like right up under it. But with the wind blowing into the dock, I were, where I got the boat positioned, <clears throat> it's actually pushing my jig above the school of fish. Hopefully we're able to pick a couple more off. I was saying, they seem to be biting it. I didn't know my hook was bent like it was. I probably could have caught like three. So, I mean, it wasn't bent bad, but it was bent inside just a little bit. Probably just enough to cause me to miss fish. <laughs> There's one. Oh. Yeah. In here, that's a pretty good one. Caught him on the bottom lip. Not bad for a little summer crappy. That's three off this duck. And the bad part, I only got one of these jigs. <laughs> I have never used one. Well, I say that, but I mean, I've used one occasionally, but I've never had luck with it. I just get bored when I'm waiting on the lead pot in the shop to heat up, so I tie some sometimes. <coughs> there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Man, where my drag set? I end up losing this jig. Yes, sir. What the crap? One little change and you just start wailing on. I mean, I have tried like four colors of little minnows and a snipe beaver, a little stinker. They want this daggone little hand tie. I ain't gonna complain one bit. Cause I am all for it. Cause I mean, it makes you happy that you catch them on something, you know, all the soft plastics I normally make so that's awesome too but something that you sit there and you hand tie that's just a crazy feeling maybe i should tie some of these up and put them for sale what what prices would those be because i mean you gotta think these take a little bit more time than the plastic so i don't know y'all drop a comment down below what would you pay for like a little hand tie jig I mean, with the eyeballs and everything, I mean, they can't be super cheap. And I'm not sure about the prices that everybody else uses. Do like 132 or a 116th. definitely not expecting like I just tied it on for the hell of it <laughs> you know the old saying goes don't leave fish to find fish but we caught seven off that that dock back there so we're gonna go look for some more now that we actually have a pattern of what jig they want to bite we might not find any bigger ones but we got seven off that one. Maybe the next couple ones I hit, I mean, we may pull seven off another one and then pull 
uh, six more off this one, and then we'll be done. That's the idea in my head. It may, it may fizzle out, but it is what it is. That's fishing. I'm really, really just mind blown that that one little change just pretty much saved the day because I was like, man, they don't want to bite at all. So hopefully it keeps going. So we're going to go check a couple more docks and we're going to put this lemon in the boat today. Are you freaking serious, dude? <laughs> Somebody need to just disconnect that crap. Hi, ay, ay. Well, they even hung up string, tied a chair to it, put all kinds of crap on this damn dock. <laughs> Good, it went off. Are you freaking serious, man? That's just a little freaking uncalled for, in my opinion. Well, there's a dock with freaking alarms on it now that, you know, I wouldn't care about because they don't own the water around their dock, but obviously can't film there and sitting there listening to an alarm sucks, <laughs> but there's probably like 300 crappy up under it. So if y'all want to come, you know, mess with them, because to be quite honest, we fished that dock for... 10 15 20 years now and we've always respected their dog but i don't know i don't know ah <sighs> yeah there's plenty of fish there but the waves done broke my light off my boat it fell in the water so <laughs> oh i got two off of it but I'm having to hold their dock and, oh man, oh, no, it ain't worth it. Uh, we up to eight or nine fish right now. Go see if I can handle this dock over here because there's a rental house right here and undoubtedly whoever rented it is just gonna go back and forth right here with their two little skis, which is fine. You know, I'm glad they're having fun. They're kind of ruining my fun, but it is what it is. I really wish I could fish that dang dock with a freaking alarm on it. Because, man, there was so many fish up under that dock. The bridge is full of bluegill. So, I don't know. Hopefully we end up with about 10. I mean, that's 20 pieces of fish, so better than nothing. But we're not going to do it too much longer out here. Before we head to the house, it's starting to get a little hot water done warmed up to 87 degrees so these fish pretty much about done shut down to begin with i really hate i didn't really hit them hard this well i did hit them hard this morning i'm not gonna say i didn't but really not really any missed opportunities i mean yeah there's plenty of fish on the dock that i just left but at the same time if they're biting really good it wouldn't matter if the waves were there or not I was gonna have to sit there and finesse every cast. So, not a big deal. We'll go check this dock right here. See if we can't pull a couple off it. <coughs> if not, we'll probably head to the house. Oh, I wasn't recording. Oh, you would pop my line. <laughs> but we got another one off this dock. So there's still hope. So that'll be number nine, I believe. Hopefully we can drop it down. The way I caught him, I dropped it all the way to the bottom. And then I started winding up. Well, 
Well, they say quitters never win, but I think I'm winning now. <laughs> oh, I ain't had enough gas really to run <coughs> anywhere else. I already ran all the way down the river and all the way back. So, I mean, not all the way down the river, but you know what I mean. I already ran a pretty good bit. But it was about two or three boats that just kept going back and forth. And like I said, it, one of them broke my light. It fell into the water. And I thought them things floated, but undoubtedly they don't because by the time I got back there to try to get it, it was blah, 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 blah. See ya, Steven. But we ended up with 10. So that's 20 pieces of some uh, delicious crappy fillets. So I'm gonna go grab another bag of ice, let them sit probably till tonight and end up cleaning them when it cools off just a little bit. But. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, drop a comment below if you'd like to buy some hand ties because it really worked today. I'm not very good at doing it, but if y'all are interested, I could put some on the website in limited quantity because I already be getting behind with regular jig orders. So, you know, don't expect to get them, you know, within a week because I'm about a week behind now. But I needed to get out of the house, come out here and make a video. So if you're like, well, why are you fishing? Well, you could be, make, you're right, I could be at home making jigs, but sometimes you mentally just gotta get out here and fish. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button for me and I will catch you on the next one. Yee!